In these problems, we're being asked to compare fractions uh, with each other and also comparing fractions with decimals and figure out which one is greater than or if they're equal. This one, you can probably figure out pretty quickly. If you reduce 4 eighths, divide the top by 4, divide the bottom by 4, you get 1 half. So you can see that these are the same. If you had some numbers where it didn't reduce in such a way that you could compare them easily, the best thing to do is to convert them to decimals. It's easy to see whether something is equal or whether something is uh, greater than or less than. 4 divided by 8 on your calculator would give you 0.5. 1 divided by 2 on your calculator will give you 0.5. It's clear that those two are equal. All right, let's try this with uh, the next one. We have 1 eighth, and how does that compare to 0.42? So on your calculator, you can type in 1 divided by 8, and what you get is 0.125. How does that compare to 0.42? Well, 0.4 is a lot bigger than 0.1, so 1 eighth is less than 0.42. All right, let's look at this one, 0.395 and 5 eighths. Off the top of my head, hard to say. Let's just do the division here. 5 divided by 8 equals, aha, uh -huh, 0.625. That's clearly bigger than 0.395, so 0.395 is less. So a calculator will be your friend here. If you didn't have a calculator handy, you could try to do, do the division by hand, or you could think a little harder about these. Let's go back up to this one. When the number on the top of your fraction is small and the number on the bottom is big, those fractions tend to be pretty small. And in eighths, to get close to one half, you'd have to be at four eighths. That would be one half. This number, 0.42, that's pretty close to one half. One eighth is definitely less than one half, quite a bit less than one half. So just by thinking about it that way, you might have been able to guess that this is less than. And if you look at this one, we have 0 0.395, 395. that's less than 1 half, it's less than 0 0.5. 5 eighths is greater than 1 half because 4 eighths would be 1 half. So you probably could have gotten this one without breaking out your cal calculator either. Whichever method works best for you, go ahead and use it. That's a little bit about comparing fractions and decimals. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.